There he is. Ooh, that feels like a good one right there. I was just trying to get this line back in the water. I just baited it up. There's just so many fish coming through here right now that sometimes fishing two lines almost gets a little bit tough. But I mean, I am just watching these crappies just pile through here. Wait till you see this one. Look at that fish right there. These crappies are just piling through here right now though. And, and they're all big ones. And that's what's, that's what's so cool is when you can see all these fish and you know exactly what it is that you're fishing for down there. And we're fishing some pretty deep water today. So we're gonna be keeping most of our fish. But man, I'll tell you what, fish like this one right here, when they start traveling through and you can see them and you can see the numbers of them, that's when you can really make hay and catch them fast. And one of the reasons I, I bring up the numbers thing is when I was watching a sonar in the past, a lot of times what would happen is I would see a fish, maybe I'd see two, but a lot of times you wouldn't see that there's four or five of them there because they're all so tight together. But because I'm using this 2D sonar now, and that's available on the Helix 5, Helix 7, what I'm doing is I'm able to see all of these different fish because they're all in different lines. And you know, with the sonar in the past, you'd have to move that jig a little bit or, or hope that one fish moves to see if there was another one just kind of hiding behind that mark. Well, you don't get to worry about that with this. So what I know is there's a whole pile underneath me right now. There's a whole bunch of them. Here's the other thing that's really cool. 2D sonar has come so far over the years that now it's just as fast as any of these flashers. And we have what's called an RTS window, a real-time sonar window. So what's happening is I'm actually seeing everything that's happening down there in real time. It's just as fast as any flasher. And let's face it, we've been fishing flashers for years and they're great, but I can't see the detail I can see here. Next thing about it that's so cool with, this, with the 2D system, I'm actually able to see that jig history. I'm seeing exactly what I'm doing, and I'm also seeing the fish movement. If I can see that, that helps me determine what their activity level is or what I might have to change because I see that whole history. If, I don't, if I'm using a regular, a regular flasher unit, I'm not seeing everything I'm doing quite the same as I do if I have that 2D because it shows me that whole history. One other thing that I think is really, really cool too is how often, especially crappie fishing, do these fish come through high and all of a sudden there's a blip on that on that flasher and then it's gone. Well, with this 2D sonar unit, because I have that history on this Helix, I actually, if a fish came through, it's gonna be on that screen for a little bit so I know that a fish is in the neighborhood high and I can reel up and start jigging and a lot of times that'll bring them right back in. So with that history, I'm actually able to tell exactly what's going on. Crappies like that one right there, man, if you can see them, you can catch them. And I don't think there's anything better out there right now than these Helix 5 and Helix 7 2D sonar units. They're just phenomenal and they'll help you catch a ton of fish. Let's get back in there. 